Are the triangles shown below congruent, similar, or neither? So for two triangles to be congruent, they have to have the same size and shape. Or another way to think about it is, if you were to rotate or flip one shape, could you make it coincide with the other? Or another way to think about congruent is, especially in the case of triangles, is all of the corresponding sides and angles have to be the same. So right over here we see one side on this shorter on the smaller triangle is 5 here it's 7.5 actually all of these sides here are 5 all of these sides are 7.5 so clearly these two triangles do not have the same side lengths so it is not congruent and actually you can figure that out just by looking at them that they are not the same size that this is a larger triangle than this one over here so they cannot be congruent similarity on the other hand Two triangles can be similar even if they are different sizes as long as they are the same shape. And when we talk about the same shape, there's two ways to think about it. One is, is that the ratio between corresponding side lengths are the same, or that all of the corresponding angles are congruent to each other. So we could look, and this right over here, this little mark says that this angle is equal to this angle is equal to this angle. And we know that the sum of the angles in a triangle have to add up to 80. If these three, sorry, had to have to add up to 180. If these three are all the same, three things adding up to 180, each of them have to be 60 degrees. But that's also going on over here. This angle is equal to this angle is equal to this angle. They all have to be, they all have to be 60 degrees. So for these two triangles, all of the corresponding angles are the same. And in fact, all of the angles are the same. So because of that, we can say that it is similar. Another way to think about it is that the ratio of corresponding sides is the same. So if we say that this side JK corresponds to side ZY, and here we can kind of take our pick because all of the sides have the same length, we say the ratio between these two sides, so JK over Z over zy is equal to 5 over 7.5 and that's the same ratio as kl as kl over yx so that is equal to kl over yx which is 5 over 7.5 and that all that's also the same ratio as jl over zx that's the same as JL over ZX. So two ways to think about it. You could say, hey, look, all of the corresponding angles are the same. And you actually only have to look at two of the angles, because if two of them are the same, the third one's going to be the same. All of the corresponding angles are the same. That by itself tells you it's sorry, that by itself tells you it is similar. And on top of that, another way to think about it is the ratio between corresponding sides are the same. So this is a sim these two triangles are similar. Now one thing I want you to realize, a congruent triangle is a little bit more is strict. It's kind of a similar triangle where all of the sides are also the same length. Really all of the corresponding features are the same size. So all congruent triangles, if something is if two triangles are congruent, they are definitely going to be similar. If uh, two triangles are similar, they might be congruent, but not necessarily. I guess one way to think about it, if you think about the universe of similar triangles, if you think about the universe of similar triangles, congruent triangles are a subset of that. So everything that's congruent is similar. Two triangles are congruent to each other. They're going to be similar to each other. But two triangles that are similar to each other may or may not be congruent.